Root mean square velocity. Calculate the root mean square velocity of oxygen molecules at 25 degrees C. We're given oxygen molecules. Oxygen occurs naturally as the diatomic molecule O2. And we're given a temperature of 25 degrees C. And we're asked to find the root mean squared velocity. So we know the, what the molecule is, from, and we can calculate its molar mass, m. And we have the temperature, and they are related to the root mean square velocity by the equation, root mean squared velocity is equal to the square root of 3RT divided by M. In this equation, it's important to know that R is 8.314 joules per mole K, not to be confused with the gas law R of 0.0. .0 8206 liter atmosphere per mole K. We're dealing with energy here, which we're relating to a, a velocity. It will also be handy in this problem to recognize that one joule is defined as one kilogram meter squared per second squared. So let's substitute into this expression. Root mean squared velocity again is the square root of 3RT over M. So substituting, we have 3 times 8.314 joules per mole K. Times the temperature, that must be in Kelvin. So we have to convert our 25 degrees to Kelvin by adding it to 273. So this will be 273 plus 25K. So our Ks will cancel. The molar mass that we plug in has to have units of kilograms. So we know that molar mass of oxygen is 32.00 grams of oxygen per mole of oxygen and we know that one kilogram is a thousand grams. So 
So this gives us, upon canceling the grams, thirty two point zero zero times ten to the minus three kilograms per mole of oxygen. Which we will now substitute in as our denominator. So our moles will cancel, as well as the O2s. And we now need to take the square root of this entire calculation. And in doing so, this will give us the square root of 2.32 times 10 to the fifth joules per kilogram. Take the square root of this. Now this is not going to give us an obvious root mean squared velocity. But if we introduce the definition of a joule, use the fundamental units, then we will in fact get a unit of, of velocity. So we'll continue our calculation down here. Our root mean squared velocity is equal to 2.3. 32 times 10 to the fifth and again making the substitution that we have 1 kilogram times meter squared per second squared equal to 1 joule and this is divided by kilograms. The kilograms cancel, leaving us with meters squared per second squared. So when we take the square root of this, we will have units of meters per second. And our answer is 400 and 82 meters per second.